Frost, Frost sends it in. Tolledge tries to get contact and he can't. Now he does. Now he goes down, comes out to Stokes. He shoots. It's deflected behind. Corner to the shots. And listen to the roar of the Red and Blue Army, Steve Gibbs. Yeah, it was so very nearly a couple of half chances. Laurent Tolledge ended up on the floor, still trying to get a shot on goal. And then it was Stokes, opened his body, had more of a sight of goal, but it was well blocked. In comes the corner, lovely strike, headed away at the near post by Harfield. Tetek tries to clear, ball goes to Kedwell. Remy's still down on the floor, referee's ushered play on. Ball comes in from Dagenham out to the right-hand side. Oh, it is kept in really well and pulled back and Effiong's there and he finishes. It's a great bit of play on the right-hand side and in the Effiong has no trouble celebrating. All the good work done from Josh Hare, down by the byline, kept it in, skipped inside. Shot came in, came back out to Effiong, touched it inside and got his shot past Jordi van Stappershoor. Heartbreak for the shots, 34 minutes gone. Dagenham and Redbridge won, all the shot down nil. What's going on at uh, Halifax where the showmen are doing so far what they need. Here's Glover on the right-hand side, squares it to Frost. Frost, can he get it on his right foot for a shot? He can, breaks free. Thomas goes down, referee looks at his assistant. Is he going to give a penalty or have a word with him? Penalty to the shots! Kwame Thomas knocked over as the ball came in and the shots have got the perfect opportunity to turn things around for them here. The referee's gone over to have another word with his assistant. Let's hope he didn't mishear him. I'm not sure what he's checking for now. I think Kwame Thomas definitely had his shirt pulled, went down, penalty. It's whether the assistant judges that Thomas was fouled in an offside position. Dagnar Redbridge won, shots nil. Can Kean Harris pull shots level here early in the second half? Harris steps up, left footed against and sends him the wrong way again every time he seems to do that and the shots have pulled level here at the Chigwell Construction Stadium Dagenham Redbridge won Aldershot Town won and it, we joke about that but that still can happen <laughs> I'm clutching at straws but it can still happen free kick taken short sent in by Glover Tolladge goal 2-1 to Aldershot Tolladge ends a six-game barren run without a goal. And the shots might just finish on a high here at the Chigwell Construction Stadium. Dagenham and Redbridge one, Aldershot Town two. Who uh, slips the ball to Pereira. Pereira coming through the inside right channel, cutting in. Um, he's being pushed, is he? No, out to the left to Hill. Hill jinks inside, trying to get a shot away with his right foot. What a save! Jordi van Stappershoef, low down, away to his left. I think Hill's effort was on target. Was. Parried away and behind for a throw-in down by the corner flag. Here, yeah, Harris has given the ball away centrally. Hessenthaler feeds it to uh, Effiong on the right-hand side, inside the penalty here, pulls it back. They might get a shot away. Back to Effiong, he tries a chip. Oh, good save from van Stappershoef. I think it was simpler than he made it look, if I'm honest. He's not been a... A keeper to save one for the cameras all season. That one looked like it might have been, but uh, nevertheless, he's kept the ball out. Cleared away by Eastman up towards Effion. Good battling away from Harris, but a ball through to Josh Reese in the edge of the area. Back onto his left foot, and then a shot comes in. Reese with the assist, Hill with the goal, and it is Dagenham and Redbridge 2, Aldershot Town 2. Steve Gibbs. Yeah. That's the quality that Dagenham have been able to bring off the bench. Josh Reed winning, breaking through midfield and then setting up the easiest of chances after Reese had been temporarily held up by Haji Minoga. And Hill all in acres of space ready to stroke the ball past Van Stappershoef. But they want to finish the season on a high. Well, Clover's just crossed it in across his own area. Oh, and Effiong's hit the bar again. The ball's been cleared away. And Effiong has been denied twice in two minutes. His 18th goal of the season and what would have been a winning goal against his former side that really would have been a dagger, forgive the pun, through shots. 
parts. And here's Dagenham and Redbridge threatening again for a late winner. Squared back, shot comes in on target, half cleared. And then lifted over the bar by Inni Effiong, who one way or another has failed three times in the last five minutes to complete the win for Dagenham. And but over the course of the 46 games, it's been a fantastic season. Here's Effiong looking to set Pereira up on the edge of the area, trying to get the ball in his left foot for a shot, and he scores. Pereira sticks that final dagger through the heart of the Shots fans in the 94th minute, and the Shots are not going to bow out with a win or a draw by the looks of it. Dagenham Redbridge, three, Aldershot, two. Van Stappershoe have got involved and the shots have dared to get back level three all but here's Pereira into the area back onto his right foot blocked by Van Stappershoe comes out to Jake Hessenthaler shoots blocked away back to Hessenthaler his shot comes in from Hill beaten away by Van Stappershoe pulls back into the area cleared away it's three all we're in the 99th minute it's almost up Cross into the area, Effion can only head it backwards. He claims a penalty, nothing given. Hill on the edge of the area, Curler saved again by Van Stappershoef. Behind or out for a throw to Dagenham. What a crazy finish, finish to the season. We're in the hundredth. All the other games have finished. Woken have won 3 0, Dorkin have lost 3 4. You're with us to the very end now. Van Stappershoef sends it forward. And that is the very end. And the referee disappears off the pitch. He's blown his whistle. He's in the tunnel. And he's gone. And uh, the teams on the pitch aren't sure if it's all over or not. But the assistant referee and the referee are. And that's left the players on the pitch.